Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called once again for cooperation in combating the Russian air threat in his nightly address on Thursday. Zelensky called out the lack of decisions on joint operations and joint defense, adding that, what works in the skies of the Middle East and helps Israel's defense can work just as well in the skies of our part of Europe in Ukraine. We see that однією з головних причин дефіциту безпеки у небі України і зокрема поруч із кордонами НАТО наших сусідів є дефіцит рішень про спільну роботу про спільний захист те що працює у небі близького сходу і допомагає обороні Ізраїлю може працювати і в небі нашої частини Європи в Україні так само допомагаючи рятувати життя усім нам в Європі Однаково це потрібно. Україна в альянсі і не лише заради більшої спільної сили, не лише тому, що це просто справедливо та заслужено для українців, а ще й тому, що тільки завдяки повній інтеграції України, чіткому нашому положенню в Євроатлантиці можна надійно прибрати стару і злочину російську спокусу, ламати порядок життя в Європі. New NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta visited Ukraine on Thursday in his first official trip since taking office and pledging the alliance's continued support for Kyiv in its war with Russia. Ruta met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv as air raid sirens twice went off in the Ukrainian capital. The new head of NATO vowed when he took office on Tuesday to help shore up Western support for Ukraine which has been fighting Russia's full-scale invasion since February 2022 and has for most of this year been on the defensive due to a relentless Russian army push in the country's eastern regions. Ruta expressed confidence that he can work with whomever is elected president of the United States, the alliance's most powerful member, in November. That could be a key moment for Ukraine's effort to ensure continuing Western support. Zelensky said he discussed with Ruta elements of Ukraine's so-called victory plan, ahead of a NATO meeting at the Ramstein Air Base in Germany next week. The gathering draws together defense leaders from the 50-plus partner nations who regularly meet to coordinate weapons aid for the war. The two also discussed the battlefield situation and the specific needs of Ukrainian military units. Zelensky reiterated that Ukraine needs more armaments, including long-range weapons it has long requested. Asked whether the war in the Middle East will affect the timeline he had envisioned for the victory plan, Zelensky noted that the US and Britain say Iran has supplied missiles and drones to Russia for use against Ukraine. He also appealed for Western countries to scrap restrictions on Ukraine's use of Western-supplied long-range weapons to strike deep inside Russia. We definitely want Ukraine not to be forgotten. But the best option to not forget about Ukraine is to respond with weapons, to give the appropriate permission, Zelensky said. And to help shoot down the enemy drones, by the way, the same Iranian missiles or drones, shoot them down in the same way as they shoot them down in the sky of Israel. Ruta reiterated the alliance's unwavering support for Ukraine, insisting that, NATO stands with Ukraine. He said recent steps taken by NATO build a bridge to NATO membership for Ukraine, including 40 billion euro of funding assistance, bilateral security agreements between allies, and the formation of a new NATO command to coordinate assistance and training. But this is my first time here as NATO Secretary General. And it was important to me that I come to Ukraine at the start of my mandate to make crystal clear to you, to the people of Ukraine and to everyone watching that NATO stands with Ukraine. As the new NATO Secretary General, it is my priority and my privilege to take this support forward. First of all, um, Ukraine obviously has the right to defend itself. Uh, and international law here is on the side of Ukraine, meaning that this right does not end uh, at the border. Um, and Russia is pursuing this illegal war. 
uh, and that means that um, uh, targeting uh, Russian fighter jets uh, and missiles before they can be used against Ukraine's civilian infrastructure can help uh, save lives. lives. Um, the only country here that has crossed the red line is not Ukraine, it is Russia, uh, by starting uh, this war. Що стосується Близького Сходу, я не можу сказати, що та чи інша трагедія війна відволікає. Це просто не дуже справедливо по відношенню до загрози на інших континентах, в інших частинах світу. Це велике горе, цей обстріл, це просто трагедія. Те, що знищили ракети, її нема масових вбивств, ну, слава Богу, можу сказати. Слава Богу, що так сталося. Слава Богу, що є союзники, які захистили людей Ізраїлю. Безумовно, безумовно, хочеться, щоб про Україну не забували. Але найкращий варіант, як не забувати про Україну, це надавати відповідну зброю, надавати відповідний дозвіл. Мені так здається. І допомагати збивати ворожеві, до речі, ті самі іранські ракети або дрони, збивати так само, як і збиваються вони над небом Ізраїля.